Yo, what's up, Bob here. Welcome to the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna do our annual look at the Record Store Day 2024 list. This year, Record Store Day is happening on April the 20th. So, mark your calendar. We're gonna go through the list. I'm gonna make some general comments about some of the titles, and we're gonna zoom in on the ones that I am interested in. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, let's get this party started. I'm going to click on the Rough Trade NYC 2024 Record Store Date list. Mm -hmm. Right out of the gate, I see the Pearl Jam Dark Matter. That's going to be huge. Uh, we're going to zoom in on that right now. Let's talk about this Pearl Jam Dark Matter. This is their brand new record. I heard Dark Matter, pretty cool sounding tune. This one here is on yellow and ghostly black dark matter colored vinyl, limited to 15,000 copies. It is $55. You should have no problem getting that. Nice D.O. piece here. There is the South Park Guys and Primus collaboration. Cool Talking Heads piece. Beautiful Collective Soul cover right next to that Blur Park Life. Though I believe that is a Zotrope picture disc. Nice Ramones piece. That's a live, no, that's a Demos record. Mm -hmm. Screaming Trees. Rest in Peace Mark Lanigan. Can't go wrong there. Grateful Dead. Nightfall of Diamonds. Little box set, of course. Like every year, 110 bucks. Willie Nelson, 90, that's live at the Hollywood Bowl. Daft Punk, Nas's Illmatic, remixes and rarities. Ooh, Vince Guaraldi, it was a short summer. Charlie Brown. There's a Rumors picture disc, if you're interested in that. And the Spawn soundtrack. Not a bad first page. Let's keep going. Page two. Oh, GBI right out of the gate. Fleet Foxes. Ooh, Nat King Cole. I bet that sounds wonderful. There's the Bowie piece. Let's zoom in on that. I have a feeling that this David Bowie piece is going to be a gigantic title this year. It is limited to 8,000 copies. It is on black vinyl. Waiting in the sky before the Starman came to Earth. $30. This is like an alternate take on the Ziggy Stardust record. Linda Ronstadt, if you need those records really clean, that's a good chance to get all her material in a very clean, clean condition, hopefully. Ooh, Bernie Worrell, you know that's funky. Right next to Electric on the Ill, Jerry Garcia, that's probably really good. There's that Stones piece. A lot of people are going to want that. It was <clears throat> right next to a Buena Vista Social Club. Ooh, Everybody Digs Bill Evans, my number one pick. Let's zoom in on that. Bill Evans, everybody digs Bill Evans. This is a mono pressing on black vinyl, limited to 4,500 copies. It is $40, and it has Peace Peace on there, which is one of my favorite Bill Evans tunes. If not my favorite, I will definitely be trying to get this. A little Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the Sonny Rollins Freedom Weaver. It is $110. Orca, the soundtrack, what a disturbing movie that was. The Doors, this is going to be a big piece. I hear that show sounds pretty decent as compared to last year's show. Got a little bit of Dixie Dregs. Yeah, that's cool. North Mississippi All-Stars, not a bad second page. Page three, starting out with this pot uh, leaf cut record here. Ooh, nice Tesla. Real to real. That's a good one. Up in Smoke. Let's zoom in on that. I want to take a look at that. All right, here's this Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke RSD 2024. It's on a smoky green vinyl, limited to 5,500 copies. Um, really cool record. Be nice to have it on that green vinyl. Uh, believe it or not, this is kind of hard to find in the wild, so I will be picking it up for 30 bucks. Nice punk 45 comp there. Alan Parsons, Pyramid, Work in Progress. That's like a demos. My favorite blues singer, Helen Wolf, Live in Europe. The Dazed and Confused soundtrack in on purple. That's pretty cool. Uh, a little live filter action. Oh, the Buckley. Let's zoom in on this Jeff Buckley, Gary Lucas record. As a huge fan of Jeff Buckley, any release that comes out, I pretty much get. 
Jeff Buckley, Gary Lucas, Songs to No One, 1991 through 92. This is a two LP set on OPEC Evergreen, OPEC Blue, but they have a yellow dot next to it for some reason, limited to 1,200 copies. That's not a lot, $34.99. Sonic Youth, Hits Are for Squares, that's very good. Sun Ra, Pink Elephants on Parade, we're going to zoom in on that. Sun Ra, Pink Elephants on Parade on Pink Vinyl, limited to 1,650 copies. It is 30 bucks, and it is Sun Ra doing some Disney classics. Mark Knopfler, The Boy, tribute to Lou Reed right there next door. Mm -hmm. The Amboy Dukes, if you like the Nuge. Motorhead, Remorse, No, yes. Cool, Sponge, Alive Pixies, Sun Ra, Slater Kenny. Man, this is a banging list. The Do Dalai Lama piece. This is very good. Let's go to the next page. All right, what do we got here? A little Death Leopard action. Sister Rosetta Tharp. That's pretty cool. Dr. John. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Singles. 1968 through 1974. Very cool. Ooh, that, there's the first Harrison piece. Wonderwall music. That's going to be big. People are going to be lining up. Chet Baker and Jack Sheldon. I did a review of that. It's a must-have. Ooh, there's a Rolling Stones piece, the second Rolling Stones piece, live at the Racket NYC. There's that Pharaoh Sanders live album. I have the box. It sounds incredible. Get that. Willie Nelson, Phases and Stages, very good. There's the Mal Waldron, Steve Lacey. We talked about that. Nice recording. There's the second Harrison piece, Electronic Sound. These are going to be very hot pieces. Airplane Soundtrack. Little Gilberto action. Mm -hmm. Corey Taylor doing a take on the Band on the Run album cover. Gil Scott Heron, Winter in America. Very cool. Right next to the Little Richard. Ooh, fucking up. Neil Young, Crazy Horse. That's really cool. I might have to try to get that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a search for this um, jazz dispensary and see if we can't find it. The Freedom Sound, The People Arise. Freedom Blue Swirl, 30 bucks, limited to 4,000 copies. Definitely looks cool. We'll see how it goes. Check out this piece of splattered vinyl right here. Live at Levitation. Boy, that's great looking. Some boss pedals. Ooh, Death Penalty. What a cover. Uh, Shelly Mann. Oh, there's so much jazz on this list. It's insane. You got a zap a piece. There is something for everybody. Meat puppets. Uh, already a garage comp. Hoodoo Blues. I mean, there's Mavis Staples. There's all kinds of stuff on here. Studio One. They do great comps. Another awesome looking splatter. The Slit. Great stuff. Chris Isaac, the, all these Sun records that he's been doing are, have all been fantastic. The Punisher soundtrack, yeah. Atomic City, that is U2 at the Sphere. Yep, $24.99. That's probably going to be fairly collectible. Look at this Yes record here. Done up like an old boot. I like that. That's cool. Here we go. One of the Cannonball titles. And a brother Jack McDuff. Mm -hmm. A couple dueling uprights here. Kristen McBride and Edgar Meyer. Very cool. A crochet. Mm -hmm. Oh, faces. I mean, this is really a really, this is a very strong list. On to page six. Let's see what we got here. Snarky Puppy, if you're into this kind of new modern jazz and class with classical leanings, uh, Ready to Die, the instrumentals from Notorious B.I.G. Sorry, not giving any money to Bad Boy right now. Uh, Flying Burrito Brothers. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not uh, the story of the who. 
Schooly D, yeah. The Acid King, oh, beautiful looking Jimmy. Cliff, Peace, a uh, Captain Beefheart, Spotlight Kid. A Mingus Peace, oh my lord. Uh, got Todd, it looks nice. Fields of Nephilim, we're talking about giants. Mm, ooh, there's the Gandalf piece that's going to be super rare and very hard to get. We're going to zoom in on that now. Here is the Gandalf piece. This is going to be super hard to get. Super rare record on lemongrass colored vinyl green. It is limited to 1,500 copies and is $37. I will be trying to get that. I believe it's mastered by Kevin Gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, five live. That's Yardbirds. That's that's probably pretty cool. On to page seven. Oh, here's the Sonic Youth hits are for squares. It's probably going to be really good. Art Tatum. That's probably amazing. Art Tatum piano virtuoso. Let's see what else we got here. Super furry animals. Doing a little take on a Stones record cover there. The Body Snatchers. Nice cabinet. A little thin Lizzy action. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Westbound Sound. There is a Parliament piece. It's the first record expanded. I haven't seen it yet. Clearly, this list is not complete. Motley Crue, Supersonic and Demonic Relics. Let's go to page eight. Little Ian Hunter. Ooh, the cut sessions, golden earring. That's a pretty cool looking cover. Uh, the groovy ghoulies. There's the Yusuf Latif. I highly recommend that. Donna Summer. Cool looking splatter there for Quest for Blood. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, here is the Parliament record that I made reference to earlier. It is an expanded version of their first album. It is a two LP set limited to 3,000 copies. I do not have a price at this time but I suspect that it's going to be very good. I know the guys have rights to all of their music back and have the rights to the masters. So I do suspect we will be seeing lots of cool stuff from George Clinton. As always, thanks for watching. And until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.